How does anything Oscar does at this point surprise you or, or you expect this every night, this kind of performance? Well, we, we had a game a couple games ago where he graded out on his sprints the worst he had all season. And so now I am focused on him running that court. Um, it puts him ahead of the action. Biggs, he's not going to foul. Um, he's going to get some easy ones. He's in a great position to rebound. But here's the other thing. How about the way the team's finding him and passing him the ball? You think about it now. They're, as much of it as that, they're throwing it. And the biggest thing is a couple games ago, he didn't catch him. Like he was leaving. So we got to go back and then work on things with him. You remember him early in the year? We couldn't make two footers with offensive rebound and throw it out. Um, now he's shooting jumpers, making free throws. You know, the, the, I don't want him to dribble the ball up the court. I'm not doing that, but um, really happy to see how he's playing. But Keon played well. Davion played well. Ty Ty in the middle of the court and picking rolls was a bear. Um, I thought Jacob fought and Damian. How about Bryce? We need Bryce, but I can't accept him going in the game and the game is faster than him. Then you can't be in. And that means you got to practice and prepare with unbelievable energy so you can play that way. Um, and then make easy plays. You don't need to go and do crazy stuff. You just don't need to. You're trying to get minutes and get on the floor and we need them out there. Jerry Tipton, go ahead. John, I heard you say on the TV interview after the game that you were aggravated by the last five minutes or so. I'm wondering what you saw there, and could I be thinking wrong that uh, maybe Severe would tire out the other team uh, and they wouldn't be able to do something like that? I don't know. I, I'll have to watch the tape, but I knew it was, a, uh, you know, I subbed. I put the starters back in. Come on, you're not. I'm not leaving guys in. And then the starters didn't do much better. Um, they, we let go of the rope, you know, and it's something that we got to get better at. And, um, but it's, uh, you know, we got up when you get up as many as we got up on them in this building, I don't know. I don't think any of my teams had a 25 point lead. I don't think so. Eric, do you think they had at any point? Not many trail by double digits a lot of times in this place. Yeah. <laughs> like we're like trying to win a game. But how about this? Play fast and have nine turnovers. Multiple passes every time down. Everybody that calls me saying, I'm loving this team because they pass, they find each other, they move the ball. Well, that you, you, every time you pass it is a chance for a turnover. And then the nine we had, we had two in the last two minutes. So, um, but I'm, like I said, we're getting better. Um, we, we just, it's gotta be all of us, you know, really great execution. And then defensively, you got to fight and have team rebounds. I mean, we got, we got hard games coming up, hard games. Go to Larry Vaught, then Kyle Tucker. Yeah, yeah. John, when you're talking about the way your team passes, is that just great coaching to make a team unselfish or is that just a natural chemistry that these guys have together that makes them do that? Well, they're veterans, a bunch of them, and they played. So they know you can't, every time you catch it, try to make a play. Now, when you're in high school, Larry, how do you play? Go that back way. Yeah. So it takes high school guys longer to understand you're better off with the ball moving. It's an easier game for everybody, and it should be pop, pop, drive, pop, 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 lob. I mean, and that's the kind of stuff um, – that we're looking for. And it takes time. We got great kids. Um, you can't listen to the clutter. If you listen to the clutter, you're going to try to make a play every time to show why you, you know, can't listen to it. Just be part of our team. The biggest thing I liked is we, I thought we defended our butts off early in the game. I don't know what the final, you know, the, they got over 42, but it was 35% for a while, you know, and that's what we want. Kyle Tucker, and then we go to Ken Spencer. 
Yeah, Cal, just as a footnote, you're up 30 at halftime here with the uh, P.J. Tyler, uh, Keldon Johnson team. Um, That's my memory. <laughs> the, Not uh, long ago either. I wonder how many how many guys do you have right now, uh, count if, when Severe is healthy, that you trust fully, and and how many do you need by the by March? Well, you got to have a whole team. I, I'll be honest, like you, you know, the the reason is it's always next man up. Sometimes it's injury, Severe. Sometimes it's you're just not playing well. You got to stay step back and get yourself right. Sometimes it's foul trouble. There's other things that happen. The more you have, the more chance of error that you can overcome. If you're playing five and six guys and two guys get hurt, you're in trouble. Like I'm, I'm trying to get Damian in there. I want him to get going. I'm trying to get Bryce in there, but we got a core group that are playing pretty good and it played good for a while. And, and we're playing without Sabir right now. So, you know, Keon and Jacob, I'm liking that. I didn't get Lance and Dante in the game. If we would have finished the game right, they would have got in at the end. But I wanted to go with Damian today. I, I just like his shot blocking, our ability to throw him lobs. Uh, but he's going to have to go in. And my biggest thing, they got to own their performance. If you're not playing well, don't tell me, well, if you just let me play more and let me play 30 minutes like I did in high school and I could play bad and still play, I'd be fine. Doesn't work that way. I mean, you own your performance. If I give you five minutes, I'm the coach, you play. And if you want me to play you more, force me to play you more, play better. And that's what I've been on on all the guys. And they've been great about it. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy for Bryce. Uh, Damien's close, but he's still, you know, it's hard for a young guy that's not playing a whole lot. It's hard. Canton and Gary. John, with the way that the guys have had to play these last two games without Savir, how much does that help you for maybe when he comes back? Um, well, it's what it does is it tells me we got a second guy to put in pick and rolls and scoring opportunities. Um, and some of the stuff we're doing with him now, Ty Ty, we can do with him as an off guard. You know, you're a third, we may be playing, you know, Kellen was a point guard the freshman year. We played them, Ty Ty, Sabir, and even Davion. Davion's more of a scoring, he wants, that's his mentality. So he's not like those other two, like more of a pure point guard, but he can play the position and he played it well when I took Ty Ty out. Go ahead, Gary. Then John Clay. Yeah, John, I guess following up on that about, about Davion in, in starting him tonight, um, was that more, more for offense or was that more for pace? And you feel like you got what you wanted out of him in that regard. The last game we started Jacob and I didn't like that group. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the skill sets. I didn't like the basket making ability. Um, if I had my druthers, I'd like to be playing three guards. It's how I like to coach. Um, there are times that I had a team in 2015. We couldn't, we had all these big guys. So I had to play it a little different. We did all right with that team, but I'd like to have three, even if they're bigger, six, five, six, seven, that's fine. Even if they're smaller, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, I mean, that's fine, but you get more offense. And, and again, we're trying to get this from 75 to 80 every game. Then I'm thinking our defense will do the rest. But you, gotta, you can't score 60. You can't. Or we can't. Guys, we got time for a couple more. Let's go to John Clay and then a follow-up with John Hale. John, you said you like the way your guys defended their butts off early in the game. But where do you feel like you are with this team defensively? Are you happy right now with where you are defensively? Um, you know, we're, we, we've got to keep getting better. I'll give an example. They had two guys we said, if they get the three off, you're wrong. You're not going to block it. But you're going to be so close that they got no choice but to bounce it. And they got threes off. So there, and then they look at me like, and I'm saying, you are wrong. 
Yeah, but I would, uh, uh, la, 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 la. I'm not listening to you. I told you if he gets it off, you're wrong. If he drives it, it's better for us. Just don't file him. And 12, 10, I mean, that kind of stuff really bothers me. But we're doing some good stuff. We're able to switch a lot. Made it good tonight. John Hale finishes up with Cal. I think both of Vanderbilt's big runs came around the time that Oscar got a few minutes to rest. How many minutes can he actually play in a game, and how important is it to develop Damian and Lance or whoever else for a contingency if he can't go? Yeah, we got to we got to keep giving those guys a chance. But when they go in, the score can't go the wrong way. It just can't happen. And so we got to keep working with them, which we will. Um, how many minutes can he play? He's one of those guys that would say, I'm good. But I got guards that are telling me that. Kellen and Davion and, you know, I'm making Ty Ty and Severe sub themselves, making them. Take yourself out. You're not playing a whole game. So, but we'll see. All right, guys, we'll end it there with Cal. Give us a few minutes and we'll get Oscar in here.